Hi, I'm Irun. I'm one of the co-founders of Salesflare and I'm going to briefly demo you right now how to get started with Salesflare uh, so you can get a, a nice full pipeline like this one. Uh, we created Salesflare to make it easier to, to keep track of your customers and the app basically keeps all the relevant inf information about customers for you without you having to lift a finger. All you need to do is indicate who you want to keep track of. And I will now show you three ways, three very easy ways in which you can do that. The first one starts here with the, the orange plus button, which is always on the, on the bottom right of the, the page. You just click it then say create account. Uh, and let's say you want to keep track of Stripe. Stripe is one of the companies we want to sell to. And then I just type Stripe here and it will search for different companies with Stripe. I just select Stripe. And it fills out the website immediately. When I click create, Salesflare will create uh, Stripe as an account. Uh, it pre-fills a lot of information here. So you can see they're in San Francisco quite a big company already, some email address, etc. Then if you've been emailing with the company already, in this case it's Patrick Collison as the CEO, um, it will be suggested to you. And if you click on the green check mark, um, then it will add the contact to the account. Now here it asks me whether I also want to add an opportunity. I'm going to sell Patrick a website and I put it in the customer's pipeline, click yes. Now I created the opportunity here on the right and on the left Salesflare immediately pulls in all the communication I've been doing with Patrick. Uh, so it pulls in the phone calls from my phone, it pulls in the meetings from my calendar and it pulls in emails from my mailbox. Without me having to manually log all this information, Salesflare will automatically go look for all this information. Now, the second easy way is to uh, go from your contacts. You just click on contacts here. Uh, and contacts basically has two tabs. Uh, the customers tab contains all the contacts you've been adding to accounts. And the my contacts tab shows you all the contacts from your mailbox and calendar. Um, if for instance here I take my co-founder Leven um, and I click here on the create account button, it will create an account uh, for the company that Levin works at, which is Salesflare. And you can see that uh, another person suggested that is me in this case, um, and I can just add that person. It just works the same way as, as adding the, the, the account from the plus button here, uh, but now it's starting from a contact. The third way to uh, easily create an account is exclusively for Gmail and Outlook users. It's to start from an email. Uh, as you can see, I loaded Gmail here and on the right I have the Salesflare sidebar. If I just open an email in Gmail, it will automatically um, load the related uh, account next to it, uh, which is Stripe again here. If I click create account, uh, everything works like before, so I create an account, I just add Patrick, it suggests me to add an opportunity, I'm going to say no now. And if I click to the second tab here, it's just like in the, the web application, it shows me automatically already the timeline here. Um, so those were three very easy ways to create accounts in Salesflare. I hope this was clear. Feel free to watch the video over again if, uh, if it wasn't immediately clear. Um, there's tons of extra information on howto.salesflare.com uh, and if you need us just hit the chat button in the app and we're, we're happy to help. Talk to you later.